Hello everybody, my name is Dratnos, and in this video I'm going to show you the nameplate add-on I use and some of the cool features that come with it. Uh, so the nameplate add-on I use is called Plater. It's uh, a professional nameplate add-on for hardcore gamers is the tagline here. And you'll notice when you open up the options for it, there's like a million different options. And you can actually change all kinds of cool things with these. You can make it do all sorts of stuff. Uh, I'm going to run through some of the changes I've made. If you're interested in just lifting my Plater profile, I'll have a link to it in the description below. So you'll be able to, you could just directly import it uh, by doing import profile here. And you could just paste like a long string that you get there. Uh, and you can find other people's profiles at wago.io slash Plater, which uh, is, that's the Weekora site, but it's also the Plater site. Uh, so one of the cool things about Plater that I like, uh, there's a lot of different you know, customizability, but some of my favorite features are the way that it can display like special uh, abilities that are associated with a mob. So for instance, if I stun this mob, uh, like a lot of my debuffs here are just going to go on top of the mob, uh, but stuns in particular and mine or other people's are going to get highlighted right over here on the side. That's a really useful um, little way to just, you can just see like, okay, what has this mob been crowd controlled and who has crowd controlled it, right? Uh, it's like this thing's blinded and now we can see there's a blind timer and who blinded it on top of it. Uh, and that's a really nice thing to have access to. And that, that like highlighted debuff slot next to the nameplate is a really useful thing to get access to as well. Um, I like how it displays combo points above the target. You can set that up uh, pretty easily. It doesn't do it by default, but you can do it uh, with a little bit of work. Uh, and uh, I like one thing, one thing that I really like about this is that I have it set up so that when I focus target it, it actually changes what the nameplate looks like while it's focus targeted. So you see it gets this like highlight effect on it. And it changes the color of the nameplates when stuff has been marked with a world marker. Uh, and if you're interested in how I was doing those world markers, check out my previous add-on spotlight on the add-on Opie. Uh, so now you can see, like, if I want to see which one blue is and whether blue is casting, I can see it here. And one thing that Opie, or that, sorry, that Plater also does is it does a really nice cast bar underneath the nameplates. Uh, again, very customizable, but I, I pretty much use the default here. Uh, and you can see the cast bar when this thing actually does its... When this thing eventually does its cast, you'll be able to see it right under the um, right under the nameplate, and I think it, it looks really nice and is an easy way of seeing. Uh, and it'll even show you who it's targeting, which can be really useful in Mythic Plus. Uh, you can see like, okay, I'm being targeted by a couple of effects here. I need to pop a defensive or a vanish or whatever uh, to stop them from killing me. And you can see buffs on top as well. Uh, so those are just some of the things that Plater does. One other thing that I use with Plater is a mod for Plater. So Plater is an add-on that itself has mods for it. Uh, and if you go into the Plater windows and you click on modding, you can actually turn on some that come by default. Uh, and you can download more from that weak aura site, wago.io. Uh, and there's a set of Plater mods there. I use one called Last Name Only. And what this does is it shows only the last name of mobs. So instead of showing these as training dummy, it just says dummy. And if you go to like, you know, Atal Dazar, for instance, uh, instead of seeing Dazari Juggernaut, Dazari Confessor, Dazari Augur, the only words you'll see are Confessor, Juggernaut, and Augur. So you'll see a lot less of the like garbage extra words, and you can you'll only see the important noun at the end of the mob's names, and that really reduces the clutter on your screen. So I find that to be really useful. One thing that you do need to do is you need to code in a list of exceptions. Uh, for things that you actually want to see the first name of instead. Uh, so like back in the Reaping season, for instance, I didn't want all the Reaping spirits to be called souls. I wanted to see Lost, Risen, or Tormented. Uh, and, you know, Shield Bearers of Zul, I want to say Shield Bearer instead of Zul. Lord Waycrest and Lady Waycrest, I want to see Lord and Lady instead of Waycrest on both of them. Uh, and so this is my, my list here that I've slowly been working up of all the things that I want to show first names instead of last names. Uh, again, if you yoink my profile, this should come with it. Uh, and you can... Copy that as well, if that's something that you're interested in having for your Plater add-on. Uh, so all in all, again, loads of features on this, uh, loads of different ways that you can change how the information is displayed. Uh, very powerful and customizable add-on. And those are just a few of my favorite things that it does uh, and some of the things that you can set it up to do even further. Uh, if you're interested in a little bit less of a hardcore add-on, I'd recommend looking into like KUI nameplates or tidy plates. Those are very common ones that uh, people use that work a little bit more easily out of the box, uh, but have a lot less power and customizability. Anyways, hope you've enjoyed this little add-on spotlight. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, this type of video, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll keep making them. Or if you hated it, uh, let me know as well and I'll stop making them. Uh, remember to subscribe, like, check out my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.